Well guys, here we are reviewing a new wireless gaming mouse, which I'm sure you haven't seen yet. Now this thing is from Gravastar, and it's a brand that basically makes very cool speakers, but now they decide to venture into the gaming mouse industry, and this is actually not their first mouse. It's the Gravastar Mercury M2, and it's their cheapest option, coming in at just 79 bucks, which is honestly not too bad, I will just tell you off the get-go. I think it's great value for money, because there are definitely cheaper mouses, but uh, wireless, RGB, cool looking that actually perform well, there aren't that many and they generally cost around 50% more than this one, to be honest. So let's get straight into it. Now, first off, the unique thing has to be the design, okay? So it has kind of a honeycomb design, which is definitely not an innovation in the industry, but they innovated by making the holes much bigger because this is a weight saving option. Ultralight gaming mouses have been liked quite a bit uh, for performance. So people want light mouses. Of course, if you go with wireless mouses, they cannot be too light, but even wired, we have seen quite a bit of honeycomb design. And also, honestly, I kind of like the feel on my hand. Uh, it's better, it just grips better, in my opinion. But anyways, this thing, thanks to this unique design, comes in at just 79 grams, which is pretty light. Honestly, not the lightest. Again, if you go with wired, you can get down to under 50 grams, but it's good. And through those big holes of the honeycomb design, you can see the RGB, which is just in the core of the mouse, where the battery and the actual controller is. And all of this is just fully controllable via the proprietary software from Gravastar. You can just download it from the website and you can just set everything you want. You can set if the RGB disables when you play or if you want it enabled all the time. You have cool effects like you have in general with your gaming PC. Now, of course, this design won't be liked by everybody, which is why they give you in the box stickers in case you want to cover it and actually make it look differently. So you can do that. And they also give you a set of spares for all the bottom parts, which is what usually gets worn out in mouses pretty quickly. You play a few thousand hours with it, just a few months if you're a real gamer, and then you have to change them out. So in this case, you have them straight in the box, which is absolutely nice in my opinion. In the box, they also give you a dongle because this mouse has a wireless dongle. It is also Wi-Fi, and of course you can also use it cabled. Now, they also give you a USB-C cable, which goes straight into the mouse, but you can also use to extend your dongle in case you want to relocate it from your PC and have it closer to you. That's an option that Logitech does in their mouses and it's generally reserved to higher end mouses. So it's very nice to see it uh, on such a cheap product. Now, another key characteristic is the grip on the mouse wheel. It is very unique the way it looks and it feels very nicely. Then, of course, we have a center button for the profile, two programmable buttons on the side. Again, all customizable via the software. You can also set macros in it. But with all the specs out of the way, how does the mouse play? Well, I've played quite a bit of Apex Legends. Even though I've been playing on controller lately, it really feels smooth and honestly, it's very good to aim. One critique I have to say is I have very big hands. So for me, the mouse is just a little bit small, uh, but I have had a few friends of mine try it and they really liked it. So truly it's personal preference. And even me, again, you, I don't think you can have hands bigger than me. Uh, I can still play with it very well. So I like it overall and it feels nice. I usually play with Logitech mouses, which are pretty high-end, and honestly, if you want a lightweight mouse, I can't really see the difference, and it looks unique in your setup. So it gets a full recommendation from me, especially at this price. We will see if it's on discount, under 79 bucks, definitely buy it. I think it might be a best buy if it drops in price, but even at this price, it's actually interesting, and I hope to see more from Growstar in terms of peripherals. I think they can do well in the market. Well, guys, do let me know down in the comments if you like the video, and if you have tried any of these mouses and hopefully I will see you guys in another video as well. We usually do gaming PC builds on the channel and various tutorials in case you're interested, check the channel out. Goodbye.